So we're here with Soul Chair 35. Any particular reason uh, you, you don't look 35 yet? What's going on no, there? No, this is a 35 ounce per phase. Ah, right, right, right. There's one thing that really annoys me when it comes to solar. We all pay for the solar rebate. The solar rebate is in the electricity price, it's embedded, and then we all use electricity and we're indirectly subsidizing the people who have a house and they can afford solar, which is great. But what about the renters? What about people in apartments? We need solar on apartments. And I met somebody who has opened the holy grail. We founded a company to unlock rooftop solar for tenants and residents in multi-tenanted buildings. We built a product called the SolShare, which is the world's first piece of hardware designed to make rooftop solar easy to extend to apartment buildings. Like an inverter, but it sits next to the inverter Bye. and it takes an in input and it splits the energy from that amongst anyone in that building that wants to get access. How do you actually distribute it kind of evenly or how does it get built? What the SolShare does is it has a fixed allocation for each unit. So if everyone's paid the same, then they'll get the same allocation from ah. that unit. But the SolShare will send them their allocation at a time which maximizes their savings. So for example, if we're neighbors in an apartment building, and we've both paid the same. You put the kettle on and I go out to walk the dog. You'll get more solar at that point in time than I will. But then because I've got these banked up solar savings, when I get home and I put the microwave on, the Soul Share will send me more solar than you. Oh, so it'll so work that out, up. does it? Yeah. Oh. So every, every 500 milliseconds, it's making decisions on where the solar should go based on how much allocation people have received and how much power they're drawing from the grid at that point in time. Typically, we're doing buildings of around six to 60 units, um, up to 100 or so units is really where You've got enough roof space for everyone. How did you have the idea? Did you live in a unit and you wanted solar, did you? I did, yeah. Um, that was part of it, yeah. That was an element of it. And we were working with social housing providers here in Melbourne and they were trying to provide solar to their customers or their tenants and they couldn't. And we, we looked around the world for technologies that would allow us to do that and just no one was doing it. We're still bewildered that no one's doing it. And so we, no, but that's, we decided that's to That's giving free things to poor people. There's yeah. no money in that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, uh, hopefully we can change that. No, I'm, I'm all for growth. changing it. Yeah. I think it's a great idea, but I'm yeah. saying to you, you know, you weren't digging for oil, you mm. were trying to help a social cause. Yeah. They're, they're not always as supportive as some of the more entrepreneurial things. So I think you're doing yeah. really well there. We do social housing, but we also do do private apartments now. Uh, so owners corporations who want to get access to solar, we can help with them as well. And so, But yeah, I mean, installers we even need to know about that because I tell you yeah. now, when you're in the lead generation game and you get a call and somebody says they're from an apartment building and they want to get into solar, Oh, it just oh, goes straight yeah. away into the two hard bars. Yeah. But now there's actually a solution. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, we're looking for partners, solar installer partners. I mean, these installers are used to battling against hundreds or thousands of others selling the same product into the same market. We can provide opportunity for them to sell into an entirely new one and use our product to do that. Each one of these services 15 apartments. If you've got more than 15 apartments, you just have multiple. But what the installer sees essentially is they're connecting in the input from an inverter here Bye. on the left hand side and then you can see all your 15 outputs here. What's the average installation time let's say for a 15 unit place? So this will take usually about to run all the cabling and the cable tray about four hours to install Got typically it. four to eight hours. So where are they mate? Right here in Melbourne. So yeah. it's a local Australian product. Absolutely. And so yeah. if you do send units overseas, you said you do some overseas business, you're actually now part of an export. We are, yeah. Built here and sent across the world to the US and the What's UK. What's the warranty period? 10 year warranty. 10 year product. warranty. Yeah. Excellent. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you. Really thank you. wish you all the best and great success. Yeah, well, I appreciate the time. As you have seen, it is now technically possible to put a big solar system on an apartment block and then give all of the different owners their bit of solar. So I challenged the government to make it mandatory on new apartment blocks to put solar on it. Renters also deserve a lower power bill. Please support the channel by liking the video, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell and check out all our other videos. Want more energy answered? Visit yourenergyanswers.com for quality energy products, tools and calculators, and find your quality local installers. You're still here? I'll see you next time. Bye.